Yo, shop baby, it's your boy Nindo back for the Dragon Z Dokkan Battle video. And today we're going to be showcasing the STR God Vegeta under level 10 links, under 200% leader skill now. So, um, this guy's known for not being a good unit. Or let's say, like, a unit that's usable, you know, in general terms. Because the tech god who came out right next to him needs to, like, serve much better. But he's already starting with a 5 million attack stat there. Um,. This is not even his best linking partner. The linking partner that would be beneficial to him would be Tech Godku, since they should, like, all... key links. But, um... He's performing pretty well here. Now, one of this guy's issues is his defense. Um, he does have to get hit, and it only activates for three turns along the time. Unlike his Tech Godku variant, who needs, who needs to grab orbs, who also changes his own orbs to give him that same defense, or probably more, I believe. So... Both has a 50% chance to guard. So basically, in any new event you bring this guy to, if he doesn't guard, you're taking a lot of damage, and that's not really, you know, that's obviously not sufficient. But right there, you just start off with a 5.5. No support, mind you. <laughs> um, no, not being all his key links. So this is the best team I could have thought to make for him to, like, make his full output come. Because, um, mind you, we're running, what? Running Vegeta Family, Majin Buu Saga, and Gifted Warriors. Not many god units on Gifted Warriors. I feel like Tech Godku would be on Gifted Warriors, but we're not gonna question that. Let's keep going here. Alright. Good things that we have a lot of physical units to pit him against. Let's see what he does now defensive-wise. Now key, like you see, he does struggle with, but he does give himself key, which is the good thing. Without Vegeta. Actually, OAF. This actually works on this team. Or in the flash. That's right, that's right, that's right. Because since he doesn't have prepared for battle, the over in the flash link is a problem. But if you do float this int Maj Vegeta, this actually works. <laughs> this, wait, this actually works. 4.2 million. Yo, this actually works. This is... Is this going to be one of my favorite teams here? That's the problem with the Maj Vegeta as well. He only has over in the flash, right? But if you take that portion out, just float him and then make this work... This might be one of my favorite rotations. Let's see the attack set here. Because Over in the Flash does give you buffs. 6.5! Wow, dude! Whoa. Yo, this might... This is coming close to being... Yeah. Oh, he's tweaking out. Now, granted, if he does get hit hard, that's one of his issues. But the damage... Bro, the damage, that's like... The massive jump. All right. Now I'd say let's be careful here, but we have Maj Vegeta, you know, one of the most tanky units in the game. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Um, hopefully, get him to get six key spears. And then this monkey Goku used to struggle with. He's gonna learn. He's boss now because I think we just found one of the best rotations. Period in Dokkan. Anyway, we're so deep in the video now. But if you do like my videos, I would appreciate if you hit the like subscription button. It does help the YouTube algorithm. It does help me serve you videos quicker. And you can also let me know what type of videos you do want me to do. So, um, yeah. And I hope you're having a good day as well. I don't know if I said all that. Vegeta just shocked me. Just... just made my brain explode at the beginning, because I don't know. I just, uh... What, what else do I say? I don't know. Have a good day. Thank you for watching the video. I mean, I'm not done yet, but Jesus. Wow, dude. Alright. I like these numbers. Now, what we're going to get to see him tank is when we get to the Godku phase, or sorry, not the Godku phase, the um, Super Saiyan 4 Goku phase, because then, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku's going to be angry, stuff like that, throwing out Kamamehas, Raffle Fists, and stuff like that, and then we get to see, like, the full damage. And then we get the Vegeta transformation. You know, those people who make those APT calcs on Reddit, I want to see the APT calc of this rotation right here. This rotation right here, I got to see it. Now, fortunately, yeah, because Vegeta does give him a key link as well. Unfortunately, I don't want Super Saiyan Blue Evolution to kill. Let's hope he doesn't kill here. Unless he goes crazy and snaps with, like, multiple additionals, we should be fine. And then we get to see another super from Vegeta again here. Just realized Tech Vegeta's in the back, but he should be fine. Ooh, Vegeta, stop. Stop. Oh, no, 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 no. If he gets a super off the beginning, that's bad, because his last super actually has the high chance of getting coming in super attack. So stop right there. Just stop. Stop. I love you, but stop. Ah, oh, he, okay, he kept going. He kept going. All right, that's fine. We'll get him back in rotation. But, dude, um, I'm thoroughly impressed with this guy. Thoroughly impressed. All right, let's keep going. 
And then let's save that. Maybe we could blow up Goku in the last phase with a flashy finish to the video and then keep going. So um, in terms of easy A's and all that, all that stuff, etc, etc, we just got a Goku God film and it's pretty good. Um, I really like it. If you guys haven't seen it, there should be like videos around. If you search it up, um, other YouTubers have it posted, support memory. But um, I don't know. I don't know about a God Goku for our next unit or whatever's coming next. That this sounds cool. I mean, we definitely need a new God Goku because, mind you, the only God Gokus we have right now is the Tech God Goku. You don't necessarily need a new one, but maybe like a transformation one. I'm not sure how that could work. Maybe they can make him start in, you know, Super Saiyan or base form, and then he transforms at the start of the turn, which would make him a different unit. So that could definitely work for sure. He could have an intro animation as well. Yeah, maybe that's what I want for the next unit. So let me know what you guys know want for the next unit. Let me know what you guys want for the next EZA and stuff like that. Um, the Dokkan meta. Thing is, this isn't a PvP game, so calling it a meta is weird. But the Dokkan meta is shifting. Okay, here we're gonna pop an item just to be safe. I don't want to get cocky. And then um, let's not let Vegeta steal the show again. Well, the AGL Vegeta. And then let's see here. So. Now, the only thing I feel like this guy's missing, three point. I don't know. The defense stacking portion. If you could stack defense, I feel like that'd be much better. But now I'm notating that there's something in his passive. He didn't, yep, yep. He also needs to get hit to get his full passive. So that attacks that you saw before wasn't available because he wasn't getting hit. Then mind you, he does have built-in additionals too. So he's kind of reaching his way back up to that same attack stat, but it is really RNG based. So, see now that he gets hit, he does have his passive and his guard is active too. So, he's an RNG unit, right? And with the int mod Vegeta just came out, when I first saw him, one of my, one of my pet peeves or problems with him is that you had to have him next to a kid trunks. Not, you know, you know, you have to add a trunks on the team to get his 30% damage reduction out. So, while I don't like that, I think about it, and I say, hey, if this Vegeta had a unit that you have to bring next to him, right, instead of an actual HP, or not HP restriction, but you know what I mean, an actual RNG restriction, I think I prefer that. So that unit thing, when units are next to each other, I think I do prefer that now, now that my mind has been cleared, now that I see the difference between this. So let's see. Let's pop another damage reduction, be careful here, and then we'll keep going. We'll save that Dokomo for the Vegeta here. So, yeah. Maybe Restriction, I don't know. Even if they did it with God Q, you know? I get not. That would have been bad, because you wouldn't be able to get his whole passive here. Let's say it did another Trunks or something. Or just a unit that you can bring that doesn't bring the team down completely. But, you know... Still works. Something like that. Something like that, so... But EZA just, he's in the wrong timeline. Let's say that, he is in the wrong timeline. That's the only problem he's, he has right now. Stacking defense would have saved this guy tremendously. All right, so let's see. Now we have his passive active. You see his freaking attacks that down here, it's massive. So Goku's about to explode. We won't be able to see his actual like attacks at numbers, but it's still gonna raise, etc., etc. Guard is activated yet again, so you get to see his tanking. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right. Get the Dokken mode here. Let's see how much damage we can pump out here. And a numero uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, siete. All right, let's get it. Let's see how much damage we get. Hope we get a critical here just to be flashy. Because, you know, Goku's going to die anyway. So just the, the flashiness matters to me sometimes. You know, you got to be a little flashy with it. A little flashy, come on, little flashy, come on, 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 come on. Flash, 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 flash. That's still good damage, though, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's still good damage. Alright, off to the next phase. And now here we should be completely fine for the most part, right? So let's go ahead and do this. Grab these key spears here. And then Actually, let's not get cocky here. I'll pop another item, right? I just fear for the Vegeta in the middle, since he doesn't have his guard, since he needs six orbs for it. I fear that Goku Super Saiyan might take a little too much damage, but that might be... I might be overreacting. But sometimes I get too cocky with these events, and then the enemy turns out to hit me for like a 500k attack stat. And either I'm clicking end on the video, crying on why I forgot how hard the enemies hit, 
or it's a live stream and people are looking at me. So we do Twitch live streams too. So if you want to check out the Twitch channel, that'd be great as well. I would appreciate that. All right. And then how much damage from here? 4.3 from this Majin Vegeta. I'm really liking this setup. I'm really liking this setup. Now, the only thing holding back Vegeta from getting all of his key links um, or getting it over in the flash in the back is the Tech Gohan on the team. But Granny can switch Tech Gohan out for another support unit and just run this as a main rotation. And the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and God Vegeta are basically giving each other the main attack links here. So, all right. So speaking about rotations like that, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Definitely want him to super first. And like I said here, we're struggling for key, right? So this is a good situation. I'm gonna turn this into a good situation because we can see how you can perform when you can't get a super attack because he does have those built-in additionals. So let's see if we can activate it here. 9.5 million. Dude. Dude. And that's the thing, Tech God Goku can't do that damage. I mean, off rip, he just can't do that damage. Like, even built up, he can't do that damage. Like, it's just. That's scary damage. I I don't know about you guys, but that is scary damage. Anyway, let's see if we can get a crit here. No crit, alright. Alright. Alright, and Vegeta just snapping off. Yeah, I need to see the APT here, man. On a short event, this wouldn't work out, mind you, because, you know, he wouldn't have time to build up. If his guard doesn't activate, he's not serving his purpose as a tanky unit. And you end up having to switch him out. You, you, you end up having to switch him out. But as of now, I'm enjoying him next to Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta more than I'm enjoying the LR Int Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta rotation. Which is bad saying that, but I'm being honest. I'm actually enjoying this more. I think it's way more efficient. That's a massive attack stat here. Alright, so let's see. Ooh, yeah. Goku, see, Goku's hitting hard here. So... Let's try to avoid the kill. While I do want the flashy finish, let's try to avoid it because this is Vegeta Showcase. I want to see if we get him on 10 million. And if we do hit the 10 million mark, that's literally going to be the that's literally going to be the title. That's literally going to be the title. Just the title forming here. Oh, unless Vegeta just snaps. He, oh, Goku might be dead. <laughs> Goku might be dead. Goku might be dead. Should have grabbed those in key spears with um the tech. Oh, he's dodging. Goku clutch. Does he know we're doing a showcase? Ooh, is he aware? Alright, this won't kill him for sure. Um, my Vegeta here is free dupe, so. Do some damage, but not a lot. That's a lot. Okay, there you go, Goku. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Alright, either Goku's trying to survive or he's aware of the situation. Whatever it is, I'm fine with it. Alright, so let's wrap things up here, huh? <laughs> Alright. Now we have no items active, right? This is Vegeta at his raw. And you see his attack says, well, his well, he does have his passive active, so he has a defense. But if he doesn't guard, let's see how much damage he takes from normals. Vegeta, come on. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Alright. Alright, so you end up on a normal attack critical that basically took down half of Goku's health. So even if it's a normal attack, he's still doing the crazy damage. Um... That's the difference between like raising attack passives. You can still do damage if you do the normal attack. So that was a lot of damage, but Super Saiyan Blue Evolution should be stealing off the deal here. And we are done with this Goku event. I'm gonna give this Vegeta a 10 out of 10 on this 200% leader skill update. That's a massive buff. Anyway, if y'all liked the video, like I said, um, I will drop more content. Just let me know what type of stuff you want. Much love. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. It's your boy Nindo signing out. Peace.